going on YouTube just making a quick video to answer a few questions for a few of my new subscribers just wanted to know you know how is it that I continually get fruit indoors from these trees mainly it's the temperature and humidity I can keep temps up to 72 and in between 85 and 72 I get a lot of these trees to fruit. You know, I got my passion fruits, and fig trees, Barbados cherry. Most of that stuff fruits for me with the right temps. All I'm using right now as lights are a couple of CFLs. Two of them are at 60 watts. A few uh, Barina LEDs. And a couple 50 watt T5s. I recently purchased the uh, HLG. Should be coming tomorrow. It's so a 65 watts. It's supposed to be here today, but I guess it got backlogged somewhere. So I'll make another video tomorrow on that. But right now, you can still see that I'm still getting figs indoors. This is a uh, Violet de Bordeaux. There's an air layer. Got figs all over it. Same tree. Nice big old fat fig there. It's all because of these lights right here. I'm hopefully going to switch over all to those HLG lights. They're at 65 watts. It's a couple 400 watts, but I'm trying out the 65 watts first. Now, if I keep the temps, like I said, between 72 and 85, I can get fruit all year long. I'm using that Mylar tarp in the back, or the blanket, reflects the light back in the heat. These are some fig trees I recently purchased, panache, variegated, pretty awesome, got a couple figs on there, I-258, JH Adriatic, you notice the soil is dry, Got the damn fungus nets in here, so I'm trying to kill them off. You guys are impossible to keep out of the house. That also comes with the temperature, too. High humidity. Nice, warm, hot temperature here. You guys multiply like rabbits. You see, I got big Jeffy water even in the back. It's producing like crazy. Layer. But this is all because of that. Like I said, if you can keep it like that, I mean, even down to like 70, 70 to 85, we're definitely going to get something up here. If you're going indoors, you're definitely going to get some fruit. Nice T5s, some CFLs. You don't need much. You don't gotta spend big bucks to get things going. A little setup here cost me mm, about $75 altogether. CFL. This guy should be ready. It's pretty soft. I'm going to try it tomorrow. Stop the video here. Hopefully tomorrow the light shows up. 
and I'll show you guys the rest of my plants, passion fruit and some other Barbados and other things. Alright guys, see ya.